Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're still on Psalm 31. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. Let lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. So as we look at, uh, continuing looking at Psalm 31, you know, often we can get the mistaken idea that the wicked are the ones that are prospering, the righteous are suffering. That may be from man's perspective, but it's not from God's perspective. So I want to challenge us this morning to do a couple of things. Number one, we need to look at things from God's perspective, the eternal and not the temporal. Far too often we allow the temporal to control the eternal instead of the eternal controlling the temporal. It's the, you know, things that we can see, and touch, sense, uh, feel, rather than the things we know by faith are true and eternal. And God's help is true and eternal. One day, uh, all the wickedness is going to be put to silence. Uh, I, I love the uh, one of the sayings just before Jesus was taken away to see Pilate. He said, this is your hour. In other words, the wickedness of this world has but one hour. Righteousness has but eternity. And we need to think of that. Uh, when we look at this, we not only need to look at it from God's perspective, but we need to look at it in the uh, proper light of the scripture. You know, sometimes it's hard to allow scripture to control what we think. But the Bible says that you and I live by faith and not by sight. And that is really hard. That is um, second level Christianity. It takes some uh, real faith. But I'd like to remind you, Hebrews chapter 11 said the Old Testament saints, which did not have much of the scripture, live their entire lives by faith. And so uh, we have a lot of the promises of God. We can live by faith and trust the Lord that he's in control and controlling what's going on. Even though it looks like the wicked are having their day, it's just a small time. And then last of all, look at the preciousness of God's promises. Uh, David here said, I'm gonna trust in the Lord I think that was the key to David's heart. He just uh, over and over again said, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to uh, depend on the Lord. And the Lord's the one that's going to take care of the need of the hour. And then he goes on to last of all, number four, praise God. I encourage you often in these devotions to take some time to praise God. But really, we ought to spend some time daily praising God. Get a hymn, uh, get a Bible psalm. The Bible says if we're filled with the Spirit of God, we're going to speak to ourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in our heart to the Lord. And David's able to come back around after looking at things and realizing, hey, the, the wicked only prosper for a, a small amount of time. But the righteous are not only going to prosper in this life, they're going to prosper in the life to come. So I want to just encourage you this morning that every morning we take the Word of God and keep our perspective correctly. There was an artist that was famous for his paintings and a friend came by and noticed on his easel he had different gems, a ruby, a sapphire, emerald, and so on. And he said, why do you have that there? Because he said, working in the pigment of colors, often my eyes can fool me, but the perfect color of those gems bring my eyes back. And the gems that you'll find in the Word of God are going to bring your eyes back to the proper place where you can praise God and have the right attitude and the right actions, the right affections. God bless you and have a wonderful day.